I recently did a video where I made some satisfying Lego fidget toys, and you guys really seem to love that, so I wanted to do it again. There's just one problem. I don't have a huge Lego collection, so that complicates things. I still have my heart set on providing you guys the satisfaction you deserve. So today, I'm challenging myself to make fidget toys using only a Lego brick separator. Typically, these are used to separate Lego bricks, but today I'm gonna show you a bunch of alternate ways to use them to fulfill all of your fidgeting needs. I don't even know if this is possible. While I'm showing you all my tips and tricks, keep an eye out for my best build, Blocky. He's hidden three times throughout the video. This part doesn't count. Good luck. There's not really too much to these Lego brick separators. Not a whole lot going on, so it's not gonna be easy. But I've taken it upon myself to give it a try. After all, Grandma always told me, if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. I've gathered all my Lego brick separators here today, and I'm on a mission to find the most oddly satisfying ways to use them, starting with gently caressing the ridges on this piece. <laughs> Gives me sort of a tingly feeling. It's like ASMR. Oh my. You hear that? <laughs> you may think there's no way I can possibly top this. Knowing you, you probably think we've already reached peak satisfaction. But as usual, you're wrong. After an hour or two of caressing the ridges, I needed something more to murder my fidget thirst. And I've got just the thing. <laughs> Instead of wearing my perfectly manicured fingernails down, I can use this second brick separator to do the exact same thing as I was doing before. Except this time, it's even more satisfying somehow. I then started heavily experimenting. No way. What happens if I connect them together, one on top of the other? <laughs> I managed to invent a little seesaw. You can take it slow, or if you're feeling energetic, you can go fast. It's really up to you and your capabilities. This one's really satisfying. I love one too. Yeah, I could do this all day. Tomorrow. Oops, I just discovered another fidgeting possibility entirely on accident. It's equally as satisfying and equally as impressive to catapult your brick separators across the room. Enough messing around though. I wanted to take things up quite a few notches. Go big or go home. They're in this crisscross alternating pattern. Very complex mathematical stuff. It took me a couple seconds to perfect my formula for this one. Subscribe if you're impressed, but also subscribe if you're not impressed because I'm confident I will be impressing you sooner or later in this video. After a few seconds once you get your fill of this fidget. I suggest catapulting it as well. It really gets the blood pumping for this next Lego fidgeting possibility. But before I get into that, I need to make sure my reflexes are on point, so I'm warming up with a bit of a joust. It's kind of like thumb wars except with Lego brick separators. Now that I've swiftly defeated my opponent, it's time to tackle this tranquilizing tile trick. I'm assembling a rainbow assortment of Lego pieces to really maximize the visual satisfaction you're gonna get from this. You're welcome. Huh? You basically can use the Lego brick separator for exactly what its intended purpose is, detaching Legos from other Legos. But what's satisfying about this is the angle and technique required to perfectly strip the Lego tiles off the plate. It took me a couple tries to master this technique. It's pretty dangerous and not for the faint of heart. It made a bloody mess of things. But if you're anything like me, pain only fuels your need for further satisfaction. The pain will only make me stronger. The pain will only make me stronger. I licked my wounds and kept practicing, swiftly chipping away at every rainbow in sight. But like I said, I don't recommend you try this one at home. It's simply too dangerous. <laughs> Do it. After that whole ordeal, I decided to take a breather and revert back to one of my personal favorites. My favorite thing to do is just slap on a couple wheels to anything and everything and call it a fidget toy. In my last LEGO fidget toy video, I took the frog prince out for a spin. Today, I'm switching gears and taking my LEGO brick separator for a ride. This one's fun. It's like a little lawnmower. Who doesn't like mowing the lawn? But if you'd rather not, you can just flip your lawnmower over and spin the wheels. That's also equally as fun in my opinion. I know what you're thinking. If I need more LEGO pieces to make more LEGO fidget toys, why didn't I just go to the Lego store? Well, the thing is, I did. I stepped out of my comfort zone and into my car. Before I knew it, I somehow woke up at the Lego store. You can see the murder in his eyes. The Lego store has a very limited collection. It has mostly sets. You can also create your own minifigure freak. But I've already been there, done that. I wanted fidget toys, but the Lego store don't have fidget toys. <laughs> 
I left the Lego store slightly disappointed today. I didn't get much, other than some more Lego brick separators, which are gonna come in handy for my wheel of fidgeting death. One of you guys wanted to see me make a Lego fidget spinner. I've already made a couple spinning fidgets in my last Lego video. I'm not sure if you missed the entire video or what happened there, but rest assured, they're in there. But anyways, I figured I'd make another spinning contraption just for you, Red Bath 287 yt Watch very closely, because blink and you might miss it again, which would be very unfortunate, because this one is very satisfying. Unsurprisingly, it works even better without the Lego brick separators, but for the sake of this video, I'm just snapping them on there. One cool thing about this build is I added a handle to the bottom, so now you can take it with you wherever you go. Just break it out whenever you're feeling stressed. I thought of you guys and made it portable. I figured you might appreciate that. Please leave a like if you're feeling grateful. You can even use a hairdryer to spin it at inhumane speeds. I've been fidgeting all day at this point and I'm starting to work up an appetite. I whipped myself up some ramen noodles, but then I realized I don't have the proper utensils to eat this with. Luckily though, I have Lego brick separators. Best friend. Chopsticks. You can be a little clip. Whatever you want to be. If you have thick fingers like me and you need some extra leverage, you can slap a couple extra bricks to the end. That should do the trick. Unfortunately, my chopsticks don't work very well at picking up Lego Woo! pieces, but when it comes to ramen, they get the job done. Oh god, it's so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend this build. During my adventures, I also discovered a new fidget. You can just pop it on and then pop it off. This would probably achieve peak satisfaction, except for the screaming toddler with space buns was having too much fun in the hallway of my apartment building. Kill me. Please, just go away. I feel like slingshotting someone. Luckily, I have plenty of ammo. Who knew Lego brick separators could have so many uses? Not me. This is the screaming toddler with space buns. I would never shoot these Lego pieces at the real screaming toddler with space buns, even though she can be very annoying at times. It's a great slingshot. It works perfectly. Very satisfying. I wanted to see if my cats found these things as satisfying as I do. Could they possibly function as cat toys? At first I thought Sniffledorf was really into it. I thought this might just be his new favorite toy. Turns out he just wanted to eat it. No surprise there. What do you think, Tootsie? Delicious. So it turns out, Lego brick separators, as useful and satisfying as they are to humans, they don't have the same effect on cats. I tested it out so you don't have to. All this exercise was making me feel a little dehydrated. I wanted to pop open a can of liquid death, but unfortunately I don't have any nails. Luckily for me though, I've got a Lego brick separator. So yeah, even though I didn't have nails, I was still able to open my drink, all thanks to Lego. I do wish I had nails though. They would come in handy for situations like this. That gave me an idea. What if I used my Lego brick separators as fake nails? Now we're talking. I was really thinking outside the box with this one. It actually is quite satisfying. I've always wanted to do this. I don't know how practical these Lego brick separator nails would be for daily use. Not sure if I could get my editing done with these new and improved nails. We'll see. For my next fidget, I invented a game. I call it bowling with <laughs> bowling with Lego brick separators. I set some up to act as the pins, and then here's my bowling ball. Surprise, surprise. It's another Lego brick separator. I don't know if this one necessarily counts as a fidget toy, but it's pretty fun if you don't have anything better to do in life.